Hello friends, welcome to your very own channel Sony Sing Physics. In this video, I have talked about question 2 of planning paper, paper 5-2. I have highlighted some of the common mistakes what we do during our planning question. You may be doing these mistakes or may not be, but I am sure that this video is going to be very very helpful if you are going to watch it carefully and if you are going to implement all the suggestions which is mentioned in this video, I am sure this will help you to get all the 15 marks of question 2. So let's watch it. First is, do not change the number of significant figure in your calculation compared to raw values given in question. Try to keep number of significant figure same. These are the examples where students have done all the calculations but did not receive any mark since number of SF are now are more. So this is the example. Here in this question you need to complete this table and this question is part B of question 2. And if you can see the child has done all the calculations properly but if you see the last row there is 4 SF. So that is not acceptable. Since the raw data is given 2 SF, the calculated data should also be 2 or maximum 3. It should not go 4. Another, another thing is this is diameter, so diameter cannot be this much. Second is, in graph when you draw best fit line and worst fit line, it should be labeled correctly or draw worst fit line with a dotted line. Gaps in worst fit line should not come in the vicinity of error bars. This is the example for a graph. This is an ideal graph where student is awarded full marks. Look at this graph carefully. Best fit line and worst fit line is labeled correctly. Axis is shown correctly. Error bars correctly shown. The points are clearly plotted and the error bars carefully drawn. The worst acceptable line is indicated by a dashed line. It is important that gaps are not present in the vicinity of error bars. Third is, in case of diameter of wire or any smaller length, avoid using four digit answers. This is the example where student have done correct calculation but did not awarded any marks because he or she has not thought that diameter of wire cannot be this much precise with manual instruments. Example is, this is the question, the experiment is repeated with a thinner wire of diameter 0.23 plus minus 0.01 mm. The wire is of the same material and length. Determine the resistance R of the wire. Include the absolute uncertainty in your answer. So this is the question and look at the response. The ca calculation of resistance has been done correctly but there was no marks. Why? Just see that. The student has recognized that R may be calculated using the gradient. However, a mark is not awarded because the value of D is given to 2 SF and so the answer should be given to 2 or 3 SF only. But if you look at here, it is 4. So in planning paper, we have to be very very careful for number of significant figure which we are using in our answer. It should always gel with the number of SF used in raw data. Raw data means values given in question. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will be useful for all the students. If you want more video on this topic, you can write in comment box and please do like, subscribe and comment your very own channel Sony Sing Physics. Thank you.